Okay, you can see I'm at the pyramidion of the satellite pyramid of Khufu. Now, this is the southeast corner of the Great Pyramid, Khufu's Pyramid, and his cult pyramid, his satellite pyramid, was found by Zahi Awas in 1992, relatively recently because there was a road running right through where I'm standing here, and uh, they took that road away, and when they did that, they found the satellite pyramid of Khufu. Uh, this pyramidion, you can see, is in sections. It's not a single piece. It was the top, of course, of the Khufu satellite pyramid. And uh, it is not here now. If you came to Giza to try and look at what I'm standing next to here, you would find it's not there. Because the, the new Grand Egyptian Museum, the GEM, is billed as the largest museum in the world, bigger than the Louvre, they've got to fill it. And so they're taking things from all over Egypt. For instance, the, the boat pit that was to the, the right of where I'm standing here, uh, that's gone. And so, you know, to fill this Grand Egyptian Museum, they're taking all these things. But uh, I'll be showing you just a second here the actual pyramid to which this was the Pyramidian, and then we'll talk about was there possibly another cult pyramid for Khufu as we just continue to look at the mysteries of Egypt here. Uh, this structure right here at the southeast corner of the Great Pyramid is the, the satellite temple of Khufu. Now, Mark Lehner had thought over where the trial passages are, closer to the northeast part of the Great Pyramid, he had thought that what he found there, that a pyramid would have fit over the trial passages, that that might be uh, the, the uh, cult pyramid for Khufu. It's, but it's revealed by Hemiunu, the architect. The air shaft goes right through the square. The notch, which is the most visible part of the outside of the pyramid, really, except for the doors, uh, that's right there. And then you've got that corner there, the southwest corner, was pointed to by two of the boat pits. I found that. So there's, you know, some amazing marks. Then you have the other air shaft going through this exact same, you know, square here. So it's pointed out in many ways. By Hemiunu, the architect. So this uh, little rectangle I put there represents his tomb. His tomb is lined up exactly with, with that border, uh, its northern border, and the, and the bottom of Hemiunu's tomb is lined up exactly with the center of the Great Pyramid. So Hemiunu has placed this template, this slice, in the Great Pyramid. And uh, this slice, which is, uh, there, there's a side of it, that side is 200 royal cubits. Okay, now this is the 200 cubit pyramid that Mark Lehner says likely was meant to be uh, put on top of the trial passages. You can see that the, the lower passages in this drawing are the trial passages. Okay, so this is where that would have been. And so you can see that blue square, that's the Hemayuna template. That's where the pyramid over the trial passages would have gone. It's the same size as the Hemayuna template. Okay, so final, final idea here. So you've got the Hemayuna template defined in the pyramid. You've got Mark Lehner suggesting that over the trial passages, a pyramid of that size, 200 cubits square, was meant to be erected. That, if placed on top of the Hemiunu template, that would be like a pyramidion. From the Hemiunu template up to the top, that would be a pyramidion for the Great Pyramid. But then, of course, when Zahi discovered this, well, he said it wasn't. I still think it's a very important pyramid that's over the trial passages. Um, the Great Pyramid is unique. It's the only pyramid with upward passage systems. It's the only pyramid with air shafts. You know, it's the Great Pyramid. It's unique. So why wouldn't it have both a cult pyramid, pyra pyramid temple, a pyramid satellite pyramid, but also a special, because it's not one of the Queen satellites. The Queen satellite pyramids are here. This is Khufu satellite. Then there's this other special pyramid that would have been built above, above the trial passages. So uh, it's so fun that things are still somewhat mysterious in Egypt. No matter how hard they dig with the spade, archaeologists can never ultimately have the bottom line. The mysteries of Egypt.